Fire Hollyberry Cookie, for those of you that don't know, this is a unit that basically says screw you to any multi-hitter damage dealer units. Like for example, Oracles, Diana, Pandas, Dominic, all of those things that do, especially additional damage with artifacts. This is going to, as long as she's in her Hollyberry Shield state, then she is going to mitigate most, if not all, of the damage, aside from, like, you're gonna see some instances where it's just, like, one. It does, like, one damage to the enemy uh, with her Hollyberry Shield. So this is a lot of people building her on Swift with very high defense. Uh, decreases damage that your allies take by 200% of your defense until the next turn starts. Gain immunity to inability effects during this time. So this is something that if, for example, the unit does 200, uh, it's not 200, 2,000 damage in a multi-hit, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2000 it's going to mitigate, you stack defense on her, it's going to mitigate basically all that damage down to one damage, one damage, one damage, one damage. And it's pretty funny to see people that don't know how this works attacking while she is in her stance. If it's going to do, if, if you're opponent is bringing in something that's big blast ignore defense damage this is really not going to mitigate too much of that big blast ignore defense damage which we're going to see in uh in a minute but it is going to mitigate a lot of that it's small additional damage damage from artifacts and damage from multi-hitter skills we also have this which is similar to chandra's second skill and we have this which is a provoke so let's see it in action and see what we think about it. First pick Praha, usually you don't see first pick Praha. I don't have to tell you guys, you guys already know you don't usually see first pick Praha. So both players very comfortable with taking turn two, not being the aggressor on either side. I would expect the Holly Berry, since she is usually since she is usually on Swift, to take turn one. So now you're gonna see all the damage that the team on the uh, closest to us is not going to do. One! They did one whole damage, guys. One whole damage. They're just waiting for... Look at all the damage that didn't do. So they're just waiting for that shield to uh, come down. So now we see they're just going for the AoE crowd control. So... They're going for her first, and she is a. This is this is the, kind of the problem with her is she is a defense-based unit, so she's gonna take. A, she's gonna go down right now. Nana's gonna bring her back, but it's a, oh, additional turn. There we go. I don't know why I'm surprised. That's basically what he does. But the the issue with the defense-based uh, defense-based units is additional damage is gonna be super strong against them. One damage, one damage. That's fantastic. So now Nana stacked again. So, it's really not about, uh, she's, you gotta kind of think about her as a squishy unit. That's really what it is. She is basically a squishy unit that also protects her team. But she doesn't, like, with squishy units doesn't, uh, squishy units generally do a lot of damage. So they have that, uh, they have that positive. The downside here, she doesn't really do a crazy amount of damage. She just stops your team from taking a whole bunch of damage. But the Nana here is, uh, is, is super clutch. One also, the fact that she, she only really takes one damage at a time is also, it's also pretty clutch, not gonna lie. But it's it's pretty neat to see her uh, her synergies with things. She'll bash, yeah, this uh, this Douglas is actually gonna do pretty, pretty nasty things right now. Yeah, the, well, I think the Ragdoll should take care of the Douglas, eventually. That's I'm I'm calling I'm calling that I'm calling the ragdoll eventually taking care of the Douglas. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. Can what can we edit? That out? We'll fix it in post. Bastard first pick, so you know they're cleaving with the left hand side. The right hand side, those could both be on Swift. So two speed leads, potentially multiple different units on Swift. One speed lead on the left hand side bans out the segment, bans out the Draco. They didn't ban the the, uh, the speed lead on the left hand side, so I wonder if that winds up working against them. And it looks like she didn't even ha get her shield up yet. Okay, and it looks like that uh, that watery was on despair, and fire hollyberry was on swift, and the verti heal was on swift. But this is the issue with uh, this is the issue with any defense type unit against two units, or actually three, because the CR is ignored defense too. So three units that ignore defense versus a unit that is based on defense, or damage mitigation is based on defense, and the, and the damage mitigation only does so much. So. That much burst damage. I don't know how much damage the um, the sniper would have done if the shield wasn't up, but still a lot of damage regardless. And this is why this is the big glaring issue with any unit that is defense based, which is why they really haven't seen aside from like Artemiel and a couple and a couple other things. Fengan, like there's not a whole lot of defense based units that really make their way into meta. 
hacked into the meta and stay. That is a very fast Antares pick into the right hand side. What are the, what is the comp? <laughs> like, this is a interesting comp. I do like the fact that people are playing with the Wind Slayer. I thought he was great for a while and uh, it's it's good to see that people are finally uh, starting to appreciate him, at least for the the past month or so. But that comp on the uh, let yeah, let's see all the the ones. Let's see all the the one damage. All right. Well, this is not this is not that side. It wasn't enough. I thought they were actually going to be speed tuned to go uh, the opposite to have that defense break from the Slayer first. One damage, one damage. So nice. And Atari's heals. He he well he he uh he leeches health based on the amount of damage that he does. So him not doing AOE damage means he doesn't heal a lot of health. Also, the Molly doesn't hurt having uh having Molly in there. They have to take that uh, that Antares down twice though. So I think that it should be f this additional damage artifacts though when she doesn't have her when the uh, Fire Holly Berry does not have her shield. That's still gonna be pretty strong against her. I would have gone for her. I would have gone for the, the Holly Berry because you know that the, the Wind Slayer is going to be HP. Well, he seems to be taking some damage from the Diana, actually. So, but you you know that you can do some decent additional damage when she doesn't have, when the Fire Holly Berry does not have her shield up to mitigate that damage. So, there's the shield again. And now all the one damage. Oh my god, that's so annoying with the Molly. <laughs> it's like you're not going to do any damage. You're not going to do any damage. And that could, oh man, that could have just not worked in their favor. I guess they felt like they had to go for it, but that was, <laughs> but why? There, yeah, there was really nothing to gain from that with the Diana. They're like, I'm gonna go for it. It's like, it's not gonna do damage. It's not gonna do damage. Oh my God. That was actually a pretty, that was actually a pretty uh, interesting comp to see. Masha into double water. I don't know that I agree with the double water. I think you, because it's, it's so early, you're kind of committing yourself to three waters against two wind ones. And Leo's going to counter that, uh, Leo's going to counter the Barbara. So, let's see if they're, let's see if they're punished for this. Hollyberry shield, which means they're not going to take any damage. Additional turn, maybe they're not going to get punished for this. Double water, like, eh, I'm not going to get punished, it's fine. It's fine. So let's see how much, <laughs> it's one damage. One damage. <laughs> one damage. Okay, oh, the last one did a little tiny bit of damage. Last one did a little bit of damage. Okay, and then well, she's not in her she's not in her shield anymore. So they're just gonna keep going for the Barbara. Dismounts the Barbara. They didn't really need the the Barbara's nerfed anyway here, so they didn't really need the Barbara to do crazy stuff. I wasn't really expecting to see any crazy stuff from the Barbara because Leo's just gonna nerf a lot of her damage. So spear throw didn't even dismount. Almost did. I think that the 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 Bella was just the the, the game changer here. Well, and the, <laughs> the Holly Berry shield. I'm not gonna say that she wasn't. One damage, one damage, one damage, one damage, one damage. There we go. And she, she and the shield is already uh, the shield is already off. It's a dangerous shield when it is actually up. But I think it's got a three turn cooldown, if I recall correctly. Shield bash, and that is game. This is the stuff people like to see. G3 versus G3. Frigate in G3. I love to see Frigate in G. I still don't have a Frigate. It's been eight years. I have complained about <laughs> not having Frigate. And I still don't have one. After Despair Leo! That's something you don't see every day. And, I, I mean, there's a, <laughs> there's a reason you don't see that every day. But there is some added benefit to bringing things in that the opponent is not expecting. We see some more one damage, one damage, one damage, one damage. What are they doing? They're wasting this. There is not going to do that much. Oh, it did a little bit of damage. So, yeah, but anything that does like a, anything that does a small amount of damage is basically just nullified to one damage because it's just going to be, um, it's just going to be mitigated by 200% of her defense. So, got a couple provokes there. Well, not a couple. She got a provoke earlier. She got a provoke now. And then the frigates, the frigate is going to be nice to decrease the cooldowns on the Hollyberry Shield and also the Yen Hong. So there's going to be a lot of turn cycling on the opponent's side. One damage, one damage, one damage. Graceful touch. Frigate is down. Okay, I was just kidding about the, uh, the amount of turn cycling that the frigate is going to help do. Enough to kill. All right. 
Not really that much damage on the, uh, well, the, she doesn't even have her, she never even have her thing up anymore, though. Going for some attack power breaks, trying to mitigate the amount of damage that the Leo does. I don't know why, I, I feel like I would, oh, you know why? Okay, so I was going to say, I feel like I would go for the Abelio before the Leo, but they're going for the Leo because, um... There is the Yen Hong there that does damage based on speed. So she's going to do, as soon as Leo's off the board, she's going to do more damage. So. And he is he is basically the damage dealer for uh, their team. Although Abelio can do some pretty decent damage with skill too. It's based on his defense. So I personally build my Abelio with, uh, with crit damage, but it is hard. Abelio is one of those units that you don't need to go crazy with the speed on because he's going to cut in anyway. But uh, Abelio does, if you're going to build him with crit damage, he does require a lot of uh, a lot of rune efficiency because you want a lot of HP, you want a lot of defense, crit damage, crit rate, uh, resistance, and accuracy is good for... He does a provoke with skill 3, and he also does a stun with skill 1, but doesn't need to be... It's not like Triton. Like, Triton needs a lot... This is a long match! Wow, <laughs> Triton needs a lot of accuracy. Abelio, you get away with a little bit of accuracy, put some accuracy in artifacts, put some extra damage with skill 2. This I don't see going very... Oh, hold on. If they get the Leo out right here, which they do, which of course, I mean, he had like no HP, then Yen Hong can go crazy. This is a violent proc or no violent proc situation. Gets the uh, glancing. Okay. Is this going to mitigate enough damage? Okay. Wild cure. Yeah, but the, uh, the Yen Hong can do some crazy stuff. Okay. With her, yep, wow. Pretty decent damage with uh, skill 3. It, even going through all of that uh, that defense that the Abelio had. First pick Oliver into a Vertiheel and Chow. Chow being on the top 10 list of units that I wasn't expecting to see picked into a first pick Oliver. And then we see some fire units. Bans out the heal. It bans out, well, bans out the Oliver anyway, so then really. They had three fire units on that side. Bans out Oliver. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. Yeah, was not expecting to see the Chow being picked. Into that, but bans out the look at that Holly Bear shield mitigates so much damage, and then the shield on top of the shield. They did go for the uh, the Juno skill two very aggressively though, even knowing that uh, Wusa was going to get his shield up soon. So, yeah, all all four of those units on the right hand side player though had sustain regardless. So at least they banned out the attack power buff, which also Antares has his own attack power buff regardless. But um, but they wanted to ban the, the cleanse and uh, the cleanse and AOE team heal. High berry shield, man. She just helps protect anything squishy. <laughs> she helps protect anything squishy. It's true though. She helps protect anything squishy that you don't want to die. Oh no! But additional, if she's if she's not in her holly berry stance, her amazing holly berry shield stance then she is still susceptible to a lot of additional damage in artifacts or ignore defense. That's what we've learned from this whole this whole, uh, this whole whole video is she can mitigate a lot of damage if she's got her shield up. If she doesn't have... Look at all that damage that didn't happen. Uh, one, 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 one. So if she does have her shield up... Or, sorry. If she does have her shield up, she can mitigate a crap ton of damage. If she doesn't have her shield up, she is super susceptible to additional damage, ignore defense, etc. So anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. She's pretty solid in the right situation. See you guys as always in the next one.